Well, as hungry as you can be for tempura and sushi at 8.30 in the morning, which apparently is pretty, pretty hungry. Hi guys, welcome back to Pavanine Studios Beauty and Art. My name is Amy. Today we are going to just do a simple, quick, I have a lunch date and I wanted to do a simple, quick, get ready with me kind of thing and I wanted to use a couple of new things, uh, new things to me. Um, the first one is the Trendy in Tokyo palette and I also plan to use the Laura Mercier foundation. This is the Flawless Fusion foundation and I have the color 2C1 Ecru and it's pretty it's pretty dark for what I think of as Ecru but I wanted to go ahead and give it a try and uh, see see what it looks like. My hair is <laughs> not looking the best but you know that's the way life is sometimes. I'm just going to begin, as usual, by priming my eyes with the Revolution Pro Eye Elements Eye Primer in the color Central. I picked up both of these items recently. I got the Tokyo palette from Ulta and I got the Laura Mercier foundation at Marshalls. Um, I mentioned these in my haul and I will go ahead and link that in the eye above and down below in the description box. I'm going to take the shade Trendsetter which is a peachy orange color and I'm just going to begin by working that into my crease. That's nice. Seems to be blending out well. I am going to take a slightly smaller brush. I'm going to go into the color Sushi, which is the slightly darker orange, and I'm just going to focus this a little bit more in the crease, not so much the crease and above. I'm going to go into the color Fashion, which is the red shade, and this is a slightly smaller brush, and this one is really going to be focused in the crease. These are really these are really nice shadows. I hadn't even swatched them before putting them on my eyes. So a little bit of kick up in the palette, but not too bad. I, I really want to use some of these purples in here. Well, there's only two. There are four pinks and two purples, three orange slash reds. One kind of this color is really cool. This one right here. I'm going to grab my eye primer again and just re-prime, re kind of cut my crease so that I can go into the color uh, Kyoto, which is like, a, at least in the pan, it looks like a really dark, intense purple. We'll see. Purples are problematic. Shall I do a, maybe I'll do a full cut crease today. Okay, I'm going to go into the color Kyoto. I 
I find it best when creating a look like this to really take your time. Well, like most purples, it's so-so. I'm gonna grab a, um, I think I'm gonna grab just kind of a soft pencil brush and I'm just gonna kind of pat that over and see if that helps with the intensity and the, the patchiness, which is typical of purples, although this is better than most. Yeah, that's helping. I'm going to go back in with that little tiny guy and just lightly blend over where that orange red combination and that purple meet. I'm not really looking for a blend here exactly. I'm looking more for just softening mistakes and that's not too bad let me see if I can fix got like a little And I am going to take that same little brush and I'm going to go back into the color trendsetter, which was the first shade that I used, and pick up just a, a little bit. And I am going to add a little bit more above that purple. So I'm trying to keep the, the purple and the orange separate because purple and orange don't make a nice color. Okay, I'm going to pick up the color Saki, which is the uh, shimmery purple. And I'm going to spray my brush, I think, just for the sake of argument. And we're just going to kind of, let's see, do I want to do that in the middle or the inner corner? That's not quite as impactful as I as I thought it might be, but it's a pretty color and it would probably be prettier still all on its own on the lid. But it is a it is pretty. I mean it's kind of a satin metallic. Just gonna take a little kind of fluffy brush and I'm going to pick up the color tempera and we're going to just kind of fluff over this. I don't expect this to have like a lot of impact next to the orange and the purple. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that sushi. Well this is, this is making me hungry. Well as hungry as you can be for tempura and sushi at 8.30 in the morning, which apparently is pretty, pretty hungry. So I'm just making sure that that color comes all the way out. I think that is going to do, some of these colors are like amazing. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. That's kind of amazing. Ooh, maybe I'll put that on my inner corner. I've been doing that more lately. Who am I? 
there's some fallout but not bad I don't know I feel like when I look straight on the purple on this side is not up quite far enough if you have hooded eyes and you're trying to do something like this it's a good idea to take your your crease shades and your your lid shade or your cut crease up further than you think you need to at least I find that to be the case for me I'm gonna put on a little under eye moisturizer and let that sit for a few minutes it's raining today here in Seattle for the first time in I don't know a couple of weeks and so I'm quite enjoying it but my allergies oddly are like my eyes were super irritated this morning and that may be partly because I had a hell of a time getting my eye makeup off last night and uh, I used the Profusion Emeralds palette I'll link that so that you can have a look at it and I was worried about it not staying that and the eyeliner I think the eyeliner was really the thing that stuck around anyway I was like wow that's got way better staying power than I thought it would I'm gonna go into the color karaoke which is the yellow and I just want to put a little bit of this like right here this is turning into more of a sunset eye than I had planned so I recently picked up this NYX Vivid Brights and I'm shaking it up here if you're wondering what I'm doing and I picked this is called Vivid Delight we'll just see about that but this is kind of an orange that's pretty I'm gonna use that for my my liner today I think okay that's kind of an interesting uh, kind of an interesting effect with the lighter liner and the darker lid shade I'm kind of digging it I will go in with mascara and lashes but I'm gonna do um, I think I'm gonna do my go ahead and do my face we're gonna put sunscreen on even though it's raining and there's no Sun today part of the reason I'm doing this also is because I think that this Laura Mercier foundation is pretty matte and while I don't I don't mind a matte foundation if it doesn't look too dry so it's not the matteness that bothers me it's the the fact that sometimes matte foundations can look really dry we'll take three pumps the Laura Mer Mercier always is um, like the pumps are really small so I'm gonna start with three that's probably more than enough I'm gonna take my it cosmetics brush and you're gonna see I think because I did swatch this earlier today that it looks like the wrong shade but then with my my neck and having a little bit of self tanner on it should be fine we're, we're gonna hope so that's actually not too bad when I first watched I was like this is this is not ecru I don't know who they're talking to to get their names for their stuff but uh, yeah just as kind of a side note I think it's really important to name things oh accurately isn't quite the quite the right word but people are so used to looking for foundations in especially online that are a color supposedly that is going to match them that has a name that they are like yeah I'm always ecru I'm always almond I'm always ebony I'm all, something like that where you're like I can almost rely on the the color name to be close to what I actually need and I am bringing this up under my eyes a little bit because I'm not going to wear found, um, I'm not going to wear concealer today. It's my eyes are too 
dry and irritated and I don't want to. You can't make me. So let's see, what do we think of it? Let me grab my mirror. Let me grab my closer mirror. <laughs> okay, I think that will do. So far it's looking nice. I can tell that it hasn't uh, it hasn't quite dried down. Well, it hasn't dried down at all. So I'm going to give that a few minutes to sort of set down and then go over it with a, I'm going to go over it with a blending sponge just to lift up any excess. Three pumps was more than adequate. I probably didn't even need three. I probably could have gotten away with two and then I might not have to go over it with the sponge. Okay, I am going to go ahead and set I am using as usual my bare minerals mineral veil powder I've got a million powders but I just I don't know I just always seem to go back to this one all right I am going to go in with the morphe bronzer in front of me and I don't I don't love this but I'm I just bought it and so I'm trying to you know give it a fair shot I'm gonna go into my hourglass uh, ambient what is this ambient lighting blush quad this is the ghost edition which I don't think is available anymore and I'm gonna focus on this more corally color okay I'm gonna grab my powder brush again and I'm just gonna blend that together a little better. I tight lined by the way with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the color Alkaline uh, which is this guy right here kind of a it's a nice dark color without being black. I'm gonna grab my Too Faced Love Light highlighter I'm going to leave it at that because my skin's a little, little angry with me right now and so some things are not looking the best. Before I go in with my mascara and, and stuff, I'm going to go in with that Wasabi from the palette and put that on my inner corner and bring it up to kind of meet that yellow. Is that cute? I'm not sure that's cute. We're going to do it anyway. So I'm going to go back in. I'm just going to clean off that brush and use that Kyoto color, which is the dark purple. And I'm going to go under my eyes with that. This is MAC Fresh Brew. I'm gonna quickly do my brows. This is just the NYX Micro Pencil in black. Okay, I am back and I'm finished with the rest of my makeup and we'll attend to the hair in a little while. I did my lower waterline with the Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pencil and this is the color Matte Sienna 
and I added some lashes. I think these are kiss lashes, but there's oddly there's no name on the little tray. I am thinking that the foundation is not too bad. So far so good. I'm glad I put on a little extra moisturizer and stuff because I think that that will I think that that will help uh, over the course of the day. It's quite humid here, so um, that should help as well. It's a it's a little mm, it's matte for sure and which is not my favorite look but you know we'll, we'll see how it wears i'll check in later and and let you know how i'm feeling about it but for now my eyes are kind of they're kind of fun i mean you know is it my best look ever probably not but i'm i'm kind of i'm kind of digging it i'm liking the the vivid brights orange eyeliner and i wish i wish you could buy I, I'm just one of those people that's like, if you can make 10, why can't you make 50 colors? You know what I mean? It's like, because not one orange is going to fit every look or whatever. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's, that's just, that's the way I, that's the way my brain operates. If you can make 10 colors, you can make 50 colors. So go ahead and make 50 colors. That would make me happy. <laughs> Mm, anyway, I think that that is going to do it for today's look. Um, I will check in and let you know how the Trendy in Tokyo palette works. I will let you know how the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation works and wears over the course of the day. I'm doing a quick little check-in on the foundation that I am wearing today and the eyeshadow palette that I wore today. The Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation is the one that I wore today. And um, I've had this on for probably 11 hours. So it's kind of late and it's to be honest, it's not really looking the best. I feel like my my bronzer and stuff is looking a little patchy. Now, I don't know if that's the bronzer or the foundation underneath, and a lot of it has worn away, and I, I haven't really been careful about not um, touching my face or, or things like that. I wore a mask a number of times today so that probably has at least something to do with the way that it's worn but it's settled into my expression lines up here and around my nose and has basically worn away down here on the lower part of my face. I mean for I very seldom wear my makeup for that long I don't know. I, uh, my jury's out on this one. This is, I'm glad I didn't spend whatever the normal price for it is. $12.99 was plenty at uh, Marshall's. I don't love this foundation. I'm going to try to mix it with something to see if I can make it work, but it's definitely gone on my nose and, and looking a little heavy in some places, settling in other places just is not worn off in a in a even fashion which is what I like to see I don't really expect most foundations to stay on for hours and hours and hours and hours I I, I don't know I just don't think that's very realistic I don't I'm not mad at the foundation I just don't it's not my favorite that's the short story it's not my favorite I'm gonna try mixing it with some things and see if I can get it to wear off a little bit more evenly and maybe not be quite so dry because I think that's part of the problem with the settling and, and that kind of thing. I'll let you know if, if I come across some combination of it or you can watch for it in a Mix It Monday upcoming, something like that. For the eyeshadow palette, it has worn pretty well. I like this Trendy in Tokyo palette. That's the one I wore today. And 
I don't see any creasing or anything like that. The I'm looking a little rough, to be honest, but I, I don't see anything super notable. The, the yellow that I put on at the very end and the, the sort of acidy yellow green that I used on my inner corner, those are still there. And the purple looks pretty, pretty decent. Um, it's, I've gotten a little bit of, of, I don't know if you can see it, but I can kind of see it, a little bit of transfer up onto the hooded part of my eye. So I'm not loving that. Possibly if I did a little bit different shape or crease shape or something like that, uh, that might not happen. Or of course, if I just use it in a different way altogether, you know, that wouldn't necessarily be an issue. Overall, I like the palette. I'm glad I have it and I plan to play with it some more. All right, I think that is going to do it for this check-in. Thank you so much for joining me today and spending a little bit of time here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!